A family has been left completely heartbroken after a two-year-old boy was mauled to death by a relative's dog. The boy was attacked in his grandmother's backyard in Daniloquin in southern New South Wales. Despite frantic efforts by the toddler's mother and gran to free the child from the jaws of the Mastiff Cross, Dion Higgins died in hospital. Here's Andrew Denny. Two-year-old Dion Satori, a young boy full of life and killed in the cruelest way. Words can't describe what they're going through and we've just got to be there to help. Dion had been in the backyard with the family's bull mastiff cross yesterday afternoon when it attacked, grabbing the toddler around his head and throat. His 70-year-old grandmother struggled to pull the animal off but couldn't. It took 15 minutes for the boy's mother to finally pry open the dog's jaws as paramedics worked desperately to save him. And then conveyed the child to the local hospital but unfortunately uh, he died a short time later. Too devastated to talk to media, the Higgins family released a statement. We have lost a gorgeous little boy who we all loved so much. We are a close family and we will work through this together. And the dog's owner, Dion's cousin, devastated too. Posting online, I'll never know what happened. It's left me with a big hole in my heart. I'm sorry. I love you. This animal wasn't classified as dangerous simply because it had never attacked before. But that changed in a matter of seconds and now authorities want other families to heed the warnings. Animals need to be supervised with children at all times regardless of um, what, what the animal's personality is, uh, the history of the animal, the breed, um, how well trained that dog is. Tonight, many are asking what a dog capable of so much damage was doing around children. And this was a, a big, powerful dog, uh, bred for a specific purpose. Andrew Denny, 10 News.